No one likes a cheater. No one likes dating one. No one likes playing with one. And in the world of video games, there are ways to deal with cheaters. However, in an effort to stop people from exploiting the game in unfair ways, a few innocent players have been caught in the crossfire. Today, we will be looking at 10 gamers who got banned from games for stupid reasons. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to The Gamer for more exciting videos on the games you love. Paragon Terrorist Watch List Imagine trying to sign up for a game only to be denied. Not only that, but the reason you were denied is because you are on a terrorist watch list. Now, this would certainly come as a shock to you seeing as you are not a part of any terrorist group. Well, that is what happened to Mohammed Zakir Khan when he tried to sign up for the beta of Paragon, a game by Epic. Now, when Khan entered his report to join the beta, he did not receive a usual denial. This one had a special section which said his name came up in the specially designated nationals list maintained by the United States of America's Office of Foreign Assets Control. Basically, Khan was being denied because his name sounds like someone who might be involved with terrorism. News outlets soon picked up the story and, needless to say, it was quite a show. Khan went to Twitter to voice his concerns and soon a representative from Epic sorted out this problem, apologizing for the mix. To make a long story short, Epic's game was using the Unreal Engine 4, which puts it into the broadly defined trade guidelines for foreign and domestic trade. These broad and vague guidelines are usually not applied to games, but it would seem this one slipped through the cracks. Watchdog Naughty Bits You know, today's rating system is set in place for a variety of reasons. Parents want to know what kinds of games their kids are playing, and it provides the gamers some context about what they're about to play. So when a gamer got banned from Watch Dogs 2 because he discovered the game featured uncensored private parts, you can imagine the surprise. It all started when a player named Adam was playing Watch Dogs 2 and accidentally blew up a woman. He was absolutely shocked to see her corpse naked from the waist down. What was even more shocking was Adam could see the details of her private area. Adam took a screenshot of the scene and tried to alert PlayStation this existed, to which he was swiftly banned for sharing adult content. This was shocking to Adam, especially since this seemed to be designed by Ubisoft, or at the very least a bug that had gotten past QA testers. Eventually, Ubisoft patched the exposed junk and Sony took back the ban. Ubisoft later released a statement saying they were aware that some naughty bits were rendered in the game and apologized for the incident. I guess it just goes to show you, despite it being an M-rated game, Full Frontal is still off limits. Too Good for Neopets We all know the saying, I guess I am just too good for this. Well, it is true for a certain streamer. Voiboy is a League of Legends streamer, and while there are a ton of streamers who have been banned, it is not because of League of Legends. During his queue time, Voi went and played a little bit of Neopets, you know, that game that hasn't been popular in 15 years or so. Anyway, he played a mouse precision flash game. When he was done, he noticed his score was pretty high, but he earned it on his own without cheats. Everyone could see him anyway. Nevertheless, Neopets notified him about his score and how it would be under review for being too high. After playing his game of League of Legends, he got a notification saying his account had been banned because of cheating, despite the fact that everyone who was watching his stream saw it in plain view that there was no cheating. The game in question isn't even hard. The player merely has to click on flashing images when they appear. This little exchange was posted to Reddit and it was revealed Voiboy didn't even get the highest score in the game and was in fact quite low. For Honor So far, all the entries on this list have been from players playing the game, or at least owning the game. This entry, however, takes the cake for dumb reasons because the player got banned even though he didn't own the game. In the early days of For Honor, players were getting unfairly banned through Ubisoft's cheat detection software. These players swear to have not used any third-party cheat program, but they still got slapped with an error code meaning to say that Ubisoft's system detected a hacking program and terminated their account. This problem has persisted since the beta of the game, which is where our entry comes in. In February, Reddit user TM Lorfing posted that he had received a ban even though he did not own the game. He said in his post he played the beta, but did not go on to purchase the full game. There were a lot of theories flying around during this mass banning, but no one could fully pin down why so many innocent players were being banned. Ubisoft eventually took action to try and fix the problem, but at that point the damage had already been done and For Honor's numbers have not recovered. Battlefield 1 Some people can be too good, even for the system. 
We talked about how one gamer was banned for being too good, but that was on a Flash game for a service barely anyone uses. This entry is about how a group of gamers were banned from Battlefield 1 for being too good. Battlefield uses what is called Fair Fight, which EA and DICE have been using since Battlefield 3. This system uses something called Algorithmic Analysis of Player Statistics, or AAPS, which compares the real-time player stats with the average level of skill that is expected of certain players in a certain match. This seems all well and good until players start doing so well that they're flagged as cheaters and removed from games. This is what happened to a group of gamers who were playing Battlefield 1. KL Spasmo is a committed Battlefield 1 player, and he and his friends were surprised one day when they received the notice that they had been banned. He and his friends were kicked from the server after playing a game on Amiens, where they did very well, maybe a little too well. This isn't the first time that this has happened with the Fair Fight system, and it won't be the last. Overwatch Salt So far on this list, we've talked about players being banned for dumb reasons, but now we'll talk about a player who's being banned for being dumb. Professional Overwatch player Defran was banned from participating in Overwatch's Season 5 as well as being a part of the Overwatch Condenser's Season 0 tournament. The reason for this was because Defran would regularly troll during live streams and announce his intention of throwing matches in the Condenser's tournament. After the ban, Blizzard released a statement saying they banned Defran because he broke Rule 7, which states, During the tournament, all players are to act in a courteous and sportsmanlike fashion for the duration of the game. Defran's team Selfless will be able to participate if a substitute player can be found. So while Defran is serving out his time, the team will be finding a replacement for the tournament. While all this was going on, Defran released a statement with the intention to reform and stop trolling. This is because, according to him, his antics and attitude have already taken a toll on him and his teammates. The one thing we can take away from this is that people are more willing to play with you and respect you if you don't troll and harass them. Who knew? Friday the 13th The controversy with this game is best described as a snowball. At any point, someone could have stepped in to solve this little problem, so it wouldn't have turned into a giant controversy. But no one did. Friday the 13th is a team-based survival horror game where a team has to survive and try to escape from Jason before they get killed. Back in July, a player by the name of Dilly Dingus was in a game with two other players who were regularly team-killing and helping Jason find the others to kill them. It is clearly stated helping out Jason and team-killings are against the rules, and Dilly saw this as unfair. A disagreement ensued which resulted in Dilly posting a negative review of the game on the Steam review page. Dilly was then slapped with a permaban from the developer saying Dilly sexually harassed the players who cheated in the game and that this ban was justified. This back and forth spiraled into a full-blown controversy where the developers tried defending the ban but were met with heavy backlash. The full situation can't be explained in this short slot, but we recommend checking out a list of articles we've left in the description for you so you can follow the full story. Time for tea. Teabagging is as old as multiplayer gaming itself. From Halo 1 to Battlefield 1, players everywhere have enjoyed the satisfying disrespect that comes with teabagging. However, some games do not look kindly upon the act, as one tournament for the game Killer Instinct points out. It's kind of rare for a fighting game to ban certain moves because it could compromise the game. But teabagging is a specific act that has nothing to do with the competitive nature of the game, but has everything to do with the sportsmanship of the game. The Killer Instinct World Cup put this ban into effect last year. This year, they've decided to extend it due to some controversy and push back on the issue which took place in a private Facebook group. What started as a conversation about taunts quickly turned into threats of violence and players complaining about people getting salty after they lost. After the thread was shut down, Killer Instinct World Cup organizer Brandon Alexander jumped in to reiterate that no teabagging rule would stay in effect for this year's tournament. The lesson here is that tournaments are meant for sport and as such, players are expected to behave accordingly. Sportsmanship is the key to respect. Dark Souls 2 If you think the world of Dark Souls is oppressive and hard, then you will hate the PvP scene. Dark Souls is infamous for having a straightforward but difficult PvP scene and metagame. In Dark Souls 2, this was made even more brutal with hackers augmenting weapons in the game and having innocent players pay the price. These cheaters would mod their weapons so they'd be more powerful in-game. They'd then go onto the PvP servers and proceed to wreck shop in most cases. What was even worse was if an innocent player picked up one of these items, it could corrupt their game and save file, which would make all their efforts in the game pointless. Not only this, but it would also label them as a cheater in the Bandai Namco system and would hinder their online play in other games. This sucked for many reasons, one of which was that players felt helpless and had no alternatives except to quit Dark Souls altogether. 
There was no real solution until Bandai Namco patched things in the game and attempted to solve the problem, but for a time, it was quite nasty for Dark Souls players. Club Penguin One of the memeiest games to grace the internet is Disney's Club Penguin. It's been the butt of a lot of jokes, the subject of many memes, and has brought joy and happiness to millions, whether it was through the game or by the culture around it. Club Penguin is no longer around, sadly, as it shut down last year. When word spread of Club Penguin shutting down, speedrunners, practical jokesters, and the spiciest of meme lords decided to play a brand new game. This wasn't a part of the intended game, but the new objective for these players was to see who could get banned from Club Penguin the fastest. The game would start the second you open your browser. You would then go through the process of creating a penguin and getting banned as fast as you could. Because it's a children's game, the language filter is pretty strict, so all it would take to get banned was to say a few curse words. The game is long gone, so the record will forever be held by Button Walls, who completed his attempt in 1 minute and 54 seconds from creating his penguin to getting banned. You can still see his record in the newly made Club Penguin section on speedrun.com. And those were a few good examples of players getting banned for no real reason. Have you ever been unfairly banned? Let us know down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to The Gamer for more exciting videos and the games you love. While you're here, check out our playlist. You might just find your next favorite video. 